don't want a flock of sheep. I want brave people. I want strong people. Strong, not physical, with big, big muscles. Strong, strong heart, focus, determination. Yes, we can. This is what is needed today. Children have to be taught self-confidence. Con they have confidence in the computer. How much is 9 five, sir? 9 five, sir. Wait a minute, Papa. Calculator. 9 into 5. Can't you say 9 five, sir, 45? No. Why? No faith in your own self. They have faith in the calculator. They have faith in the computer. They have faith in the hooks. But they have no faith in themselves. Be strong. You are strong. Don't think you are weak. You are. If you think you are weak, you are weak. If you think you are strong, you are strong. If you think you can, you are smart. You are intelligent. You can. My master used to give a very beautiful example of a story. There was a lion, lioness, female lion. While giving birth to the baby cub, the lioness died. The baby cub was very small. Nearby, some sheep used to eat goats and sheep, they used to eat grass. This small baby cub started growing along with the sheep. It did not know it was a lion. It also started eating grass. It also started bleating like a lamb. <laughs> bleating. One day, another bigger lion came. It wanted to eat the sheep. But suddenly it saw another small lion there, eating grass. It was shocked. What? Lion eating grass? What a sheep. It caught hold of that lion. And it said, Hey, what's wrong with you? You are a lion. That's it. The baby lion said, No, I am a sheep. What nonsense are you talking about? You are a lion, you are the king. The lion said, No, I am a sheep. I always was here. This is my family. And I eat grass. And I bleat like a sheep. And it started bleating like a sheep. The, the, the elderly lion got very angry. How stupid of you! Come with me, I'll show you who you are. And he took the small lion to a lake, to a pond where there was water. And he said, look inside and see who you are. And look at, look at me who I am. And the baby lion saw, yes, it resembled the elderly lion. Then it realized, I am not a sheep. All these days I have been thinking I am weak. You are not weak. You are alive. Stand up. Fight. This courage, this power, this strength, this energy, this focus, this concentration is inside each and every one of us. All you have to do is to listen when somebody is telling you, after listening, you should go to a place where there is silence. Like a cow, you should sit and chew what has been told to you. Ruminate. Think, 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 think. This gentleman said that I am a man. That the whole power is within me. The strength is within me. 
yes, I can do it. That should be the challenge. After listening, I go out, go and go to some cafe, eat and go home. That is not the attitude. You will not learn anything in life. If you want to learn something in life, first thing, be serious. Be serious in life. If you want to treat life as a joke, life will also treat you as a joke. Understand this very seriously if you want to. And especially to devotees who are very attached to Swami. It is my humble submission to you. Please wake up. Do not think your Satya Sai Baba is sitting in Mudana. Do not go and ask anything from Him. The only thing that you should ask from God is God Himself. Don't ask anything. Just sit down quietly in your place. If He comes and talks to you, if he doesn't talk to you, also. Don't demand things. Be calm. Be quiet. Be disciplined. Swami is very particular about discipline. He will not tell you anything. But I am sharing with you what he tells us. Is very particular about it. Many a time he doesn't say anything. But the question is only one. Do you want to grow or not? If you want to grow, be strong, be disciplined. If he wants to call anybody, he will call. Don't keep pressing your ideas on to him. Just see him. Swami Sekta Minikam. Kabda Premya Prija Yachi Prasa. Rajasthanji. Chepini, 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 Chepini. Without patience, nothing can be wrong. I just want to share with you something. Chairman Adin Tavarishna Pisa Ochanta Koi Nipriyat Nipisma. Ochanta Nipriyat I was very upset. But I was calm. I closed my eyes and I said, Swami, get a two. Everything is here. And I wrote a very loving letter to that person. A very loving letter. My dear friend, my We should not say such things. We are children of Swami. We are to be strong. We should not speak bad of each other or about anybody. Believe me. That person has written back to me. I'm sorry. I spoke very harshly. That is the power of love. Whose love? Ravi's love? Kachya's love? Dhyana's love? Andre's love? Tachana's love? God's love. Which is the same love 
which is flowing through the mother, which is known as satsang, which is flowing through the friend, is known as sneha, which is flowing through the husband, which is known as moha, which is flowing through the uh, uh, devotee, which is known as bhakti. It is the same love, but in different shades. The purest form of love is the love relationship between God and His devotee. Other loves are all tainted with selfishness. Husband expects something from his wife. Wife expects something from her husband. Mother expects something from her children. Child expects something from her parents. Friend expects something from his friend. But the love relationship between God and His devotee is not expected. Love is for love's sake. That is how we have to be. That love, we have to bring it into the love between husband and wife. I love you because I love you. I want nothing from you. I want nothing from you. I want nothing Jivichata Simya Prabhrachit Sabhraya But always remember the first place in the family is not husband is not wife it's God Only if you give God the first place head of the family God without his permission I will not do anything Husband and wife should sit together and pray to God. Then only God will love. Husband and wife are like two wheels of the bicycle. They should rotate, they must rotate in the same direction. One cannot rotate in clockwise and another cannot rotate in anti-clockwise. That means their way of thinking has to be. When is it possible? It is only possible when God is in the first place. Who is the head of the family? Who is the boss of the family? Everything has to be given to God. You clean the carpet, you are doing it for God. You are pressing your clothes, you are doing it for God. You are cutting vegetables, you are doing it for God. You are cleaning the room, you are doing it for God. You are washing your clothes, you are doing it for God. You are brushing your teeth, you are doing it for God. You are shaving, you are doing it for God. You are taking bath, Shower, you are doing it for God. You are wearing clothes, you are doing it for God. When you do everything for God, God will decide. That is not a home. Swami always talks about 3H. H in English. Ash. The first H is house. Building. Just a building. With rooms, nothing is there. That house has to be converted into a home. Second age. Home. Home is for husband, wife, children. Nice family, happy family. But only if you invite God together to become the head of the family, the home becomes then when people come to my room I have got a very small room where I am still the size of the room may be half the size of her kitchen so that is all maybe if you put a line here this is my room very happy very happy man 
I don't have uh, even a bicycle, mm -hmm. I don't have a bike, I don't have a car. I don't have expensive clothes to wear. I don't have Rolex watch. Thanks to my Lord. Thanks to my Master. Thanks to my Master. So all of you should understand this seriously. First change yourself. Then you can show others the path. If you are blind, how can you help others? You cannot help anyone. First you have to see. Then you can help. But you can also hear. No, when I say leading the path means showing the path to God to others. It is not physical blindness. It is spiritual blindness. It is when you are spiritually blind, you do not know what is right, what is wrong in life. How can you tell anybody? First, you have to know. You have to be attached to God. God is your only friend. Others are all passengers. And there is no second option except God. Yeah.